Good morning, everyone. This is Rick from the Corn Life Network. And is it just me, or are Google Analytics m mumbo jumbo these days? I can't tell the difference what's going on if I look at my smartphone or if I look at my desktop computer. I can't tell the difference. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I really think you should. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Um, that was a short break, but um, I just have to tell you, um, the last couple of days it's been kind of rough in my area of the YouTube land. And I think if you're watching your analytics, you'll find that too. Um, I know it's, they say it's normal but to, to lose subscribers and stuff like this, but all the other things going on on YouTube with them mistakenly deleting videos belonging to right-wing people, to mistakenly doing this, mistakenly doing that. If you read through the world of YouTube on the news, there's all these constant... Well, it's a misunderstanding. It's, it's, it's a, a glitch. It's, it's, it's this, it's that. There's never any personal responsibility on the behalf of YouTube for this. It's always just, uh, well, we just kind of made a mistake here or there. Well, I'm going to delve deeper into the roots of this this morning and see just on my own personal account. Um, what, well, here's revenue reports. There's no money there. I don't want to look at that. Let's look at watch time. I'm going to look at watch time. On my watch time right now, it has me at 804 minutes for... But this can't be for 28 days. 2,581 minutes for for watch time there. And let's pull up the YouTube analytics here. On this one here, watch time minutes are at 2,714. Which do I want to believe? Let me refresh this. Very interesting. See what this watch. See if this comes up the same. Two thousand six hundred and sixty-eight watch time minutes, compared to again two thousand seven hundred and fourteen watch minutes after I have refreshed them. Which one do you believe? I mean, we're just looking at watch time. Um, what about people looking at the revenue? I mean, is there going to be such discrepancies there? They just can't make up their mind what actually is working with YouTube. I mean, in a combination with this is a misunderstanding, this is a, not a misunderstanding, the only thing they've been able to do is make big decisions that affected all of our lives. Um, I mean, you know, I, I can't say that I think they're responsible. They're not responsible for their actions. Um, and when they do make actions that they're responsible for, they make drastic effects to huge quantities of people. Um, I mean, this isn't just a YouTube rant, but this is a real question about a company that um, is being is, is questionable in nature at this point, not just to the small creator, but to the big creator. They've been having problems with the larger creators by not having enough advertising. That's part of the reason this demonetization, ha demonetization happened, was because larger creators were trying to say, hey, there's not enough ads to go around. Well, I'm not making enough money. The Casey Neistat's, the the Peter McKinnons, the people who are already way into six figures with, with income from YouTube. That's who they wanted to satisfy with this demonetization. There'd be more ads to go around. And they wanted to make sure that the higher priced ads were going to, of course, their higher priced clients. So now there's more ads to go around. But even if you look at the, at the, at the data of how you get paid once you get to that level, it's gone down. The average person who, uh, this is just someone I know in particular who I can't mention who has been monetized for about two years, saw at his current level with nothing changing, nothing changing other than just their new format on how they level things up. He got caught on the little bottom end level. He lost about 50% of his income. Does someone think about this? This isn't just, this isn't just a, misunderstanding someone must have run some numbers but what numbers do you trust do you trust the laptop do you trust the the youtube people who tell you or do you trust your cell phone who do you trust in youtube 
And that's the question is once again, do you trust YouTube? I can't say I do. I don't think they know which end, which end is up. I really don't. I think they're getting their heads buried in their sand, in the sand. I think that um, there's a, a possibility that there's some, by using all of this constant um, uh, artificial intelligence, I mean, I know you've got to do, you can't have everybody look at every video, but there's not, there's not, I mean, you know, if you look in the world of the small creator, there's some people who are using a sub to sub method, okay? And then there's some people who are using methods where they're actually going out and finding groups of people and networking with them and actually enjoying their channels, liking their channels and watching their channels, okay? Because that's a, that's a positive thing to do. That is a world of just networking in general. That's how you make friends, make family, make acquaintances. Um, I thought YouTube was a social platform, not just a media platform. But we, maybe we've got to look at YouTube if they don't want to be a social media platform. Maybe they just want to be a media platform. Maybe that's the direction you're going. They don't want to be social, so therefore they don't want you to do... I don't understand the sub for sub thing, and that, that would be a problem because you're actually not creating... You're, you're creating false numbers with that. But, but a company that's so worried about numbers, you think that... They would have worried about them. They, they, they've got to be worried about their their numbers somewhere, which is at advertising. Since most of us are no longer receiving advertising dollars as small creators, so that leaves a huge bunch at the top. But even someone who is making a roughly five figure income from YouTube, okay, it, it was a it was a it was a gradual income. It was it was a it was an income that grew over time. It grew over about three years, and he's got about twenty nine thousand viewers, and he's got a watch, pretty good watch time. He people watch his videos. Well, he's got a niche that he follows. He lost fifty percent of his YouTube income. How is that actually helping anyone but at the top? I mean, that this seems to be a commonplace goal in today's society, and. Um, I, I, it just seems like there needs to be equal representation. I'm not talking about socialism in general, but if, if I'm a creator and I've reached a certain level, I should be able to be paid the same today as I was paid tomorrow. There's just no consistency. What about consistency, YouTube? Does consistency matter to YouTube? Because between the, the, the changes in subscriber count that I can't quite figure out, between the differences of people saying that they've lost subscribers or they've lost the bells and notifications, and they go back to their notifications and they go, bink, and they get an error. Why is that? What's the explanation for that? What's the, the, the algorithm behind that? And who is figuring out these algorithms? Is it actually a person punching numbers or is this an artificial intelligence punching numbers? Because there's got to be some human accountability for what they're doing here. And that there doesn't seem to be any of that. You know, they've gotten a little bit better with communication. Yeah, as in telling us we're not getting paid. But other than that, communication has been null. Ever since that day, we've, got, we've gotten glimpses of YouTube out there saying, oh, we, we support the small creator, blah, 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 and a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo. But the truth of the matter is dollar speak. Okay? And, and, and making money on YouTube is not what I'm talking about. Because I, I'm going to make you money on YouTube without generating assets. I, in fact... I'm going to turn off AdSense because I don't ever want to be paid by YouTube. I can't trust YouTube to pay me because you hear about stories that even under the last partner program, how they were, um, would automatically, um, some people just stopped getting paid because, and there's no reason they, they, they were created. They've been creators since 2010, got monetized with 10,000 views and then stopped getting paid. Paid. So what is the explanation, YouTube? Do we have an explanation? Do I have someone I can call on YouTube? I mean, I'm not, I don't have Casey Neistat's pull. I can't get the uh, director of uh, the partner program on my, on my show. I certainly would like to see him um, meet a small creator instead of go to, to the figurehead of the vlogging community, Casey Neistat. It's just depressing. It's depressing to see such a, a valuable platform not being managed very well. I mean, truthfully, do you believe that YouTube is being managed well right now? 
I mean, I'm not not to just talk bad about it. If YouTube was doing good, positive things, I'd be screaming from the top of the world. And in fact, I am YouTube's biggest supporter. I am just very, very disappointed. And it's not just about demonetization. It's about the lack of accountability. It's a lack, lack about of, about of communication, accurate statistics. Because then if I pull up, let's see here. I've got statistics from here. Let me pull up the... Um, Watch time minutes on the Tube Buddy. Huh, Tube Buddy's completely different. This is really funny. Tube Buddy has been a completely different number. So, what do I believe the analytics that Tube Buddy gets? The analytics that the phone gets are the, the, the analytics that come from YouTube on their own desktop version. Once again, accountability. Once again, not responsible. This is Rick and this is Core Life. Have a uh, good day. I will uh, see you likely next week sometime. I am going to be away this weekend, but I will be producing a vlog. I'll be in Kansas City. So uh, everyone have a, uh, I'm making the trip from my home to Kansas City and I'm going to really enjoy a weekend there. So peace out everyone. I hope I'm taking all my stuff with me. Hopefully there'll be a vlog post this weekend. And, um, but this is Rick speaking for the small creator and uh, this is the Core Life Network. Have a good day.